Let's look at how drawings are recorded under the FIFO method. And the FIFO method is first in, first out. And it's an assumption that the first items in are the first items out. And remember, it may not be true. It's just an assumption so we don't have to identify each individual unit. So we've been working our way through all these transactions that we need to know the rules for under FIFO. So sales of inventory was first in, first out. But then, yeah, even though it's called FIFO, we actually didn't apply it for these returns here for a sales return or a purchase return. So what is the rule for drawings then? Well, what are drawings? Because they are separate entities, the business and the owner can engage in transactions with each other. So we've got the owner as an entity here does not equal the business as an entity. So the owner can take out things like money, a car, property, whatever, uh, and that is called drawings. When the owner takes assets from the business, they are withdrawing their equity or their capital. And another thing they can take besides money, a car and property is inventory. So what do we do with drawings of inventory? We are just gonna assume first in, first out, nice and simple. Let's work through an example. April the 1st bought five units at a cost of $10 each plus GST receipt 0909. In the inventory card, we never put GST. So we're just gonna have five units in at $50 and that will be our balance. And we'll assume they're in a pile here, nice and neat. It won't be like that in reality. That's just our assumption. April the 2nd bought 10 units for a total of $200 plus GST on credit from Hello Hoops invoice 45. So I don't need the GST, but I do need a unit price. So it's $200 uh, total for 10 units. So that's $20 each. April the 2nd, invoice 45. I've got 10 units coming in at 20 for a total of 200. So now I have five at 10, that's them here in pink, and 10 at 20 here. And that's not real because like, it's not like identified cost where we actually put say pink stickers or yellow stickers on things. We don't do that. These are basketballs, I can't actually put um, you know, like stickers on them. So yeah, so that doesn't apply. Uh, it's just an assumption. I'm going to assume they stock nice and neatly like this. And then on April the 3rd, I sell three units for $30 each receipt 5712. First thing to remember with the inventory card, we never want to see the GST in there or the sale price. This is just cost prices. So we can ignore the $30 for now and we can just say um, what three went out. Well, I don't know, but I'm going to assume it must have been these three because they were the first ones in. So what just left? April the 3rd, receipt 5712. It's an out because inventory left. Three units at $10 for a total of 30. That's them there, they're gone. So I'm now left with two at 10 there and 10 at 20 there. And then the owner took three units to give as a gift to a friend, memo one, that's called drawings. Which three did the owner take? I have absolutely no idea. I don't even know whether these are the ones that are left, but it doesn't matter with five. It's not worth our time and money figuring it out. So I'm just going to assume that the owner took the first two here because they were the first ones in and then took this one off the top of the next pile. Probably didn't happen that way, but that's what I'm going to assume. So I'm going to assume April the 4th, memo one, what went out? Well, the two here at $10, two at 10 is 20. And then this one here at the top there, one at 20 is 20. So I'm now left with nine units at $20 each. And if I count that up there, that is what I have, which is perfect. And we're now doing this so we can do this transaction in the general journal. So the owner took three units to give to a gift as a friend. We know our double entry, debit to drawings, credit to inventory, but we're not given the amount. And that is why I need to use my inventory card. So I'm gonna go look for memo one, April the 4th, here it is. And it says there's two at 10 for 20 and one at 20 for 20. So if I add 20 and 20 together, I will get 40. And that is the number that I'm gonna use there. And that's all I need to know. So now I have everything I need for to process drawings under the FIFO method. So let's just summarize. What are we doing? We're doing the rules for value inventory under first in, first out. We've done these ones, sales and returns. And now we just did this one here. So for drawings, nice and simple, just like with the sale, we are gonna apply first in, first out.